Hello my lovely students once again welcome back to my channel how are you i hope you people must be great and i hope you all will be practicing your chapter 1 and chapter 2 for your online test i hope you all know that in july in the third week of july you people will be having your online exam right and you can check your school's website for all the details related to your syllabus and your date sheet okay everything is updated over there so students prepare well and you have to keep on learning and revising all the things thoroughly okay follow all the instructions of your teachers now let's talk about the video lesson so students in the recent video lesson we have understood noun as a number right in which we have discussed about countable noun and uncountable nouns so today we will further explore this in today's video lesson so without any delay let's begin so students when we talked about nouns as a number we all know that it is further divided into countable nouns and uncountable nouns and i guess you all have understood that what are countable and uncountable nouns so today we will study about different forms of these nouns so basically when we talk about countable nouns most countable nouns have a singular and a plural form and i hope that in the recent classes you people have already studied about singular and plural form yes do you know what are singular and plural form of a noun so let's try to understand this in the uncountable noun we are not having any plural form right they only have singular form so let's try to understand this that when we talk about singular noun what do we understand from singular number the singular number we can say any noun that stands for only one person singular means when we talk about a single person okay so that stands for only one person or thing is said to be in singular number example men child girl pen etc now students can you know the difference that in this men there is a m a n man right so when we talk about this man we are talking only about one man okay we are not talking about many men right we are only saying man means we are talking about one single man okay now let's talk about the plural number so what do you understand from plural number any noun that stands for more than one person or thing is said to be in the plural number so basically when we talk about more than one person that will be said to be as my plural number example men children pens caps etc now here can you see that i have used men so here there is a different when we say men it means we are talking about more men in number right we are having more men okay and when we say m a n it means a single man okay one person single man and m e n means more men okay similarly child is for one child and children more than one child okay so the plural of child will be children so we never use children we never say s with children okay most of the time i see people use incorrect but we don't have to use s with children okay we always say children child is singular number and children is the plural one we cannot say children okay then pens so we have put here s in order to make this into plural okay understood till here so singular means the one which stands for one person and plural means when we talk about more than one person in a sentence clear shall we move forward okay now students when we all have understood about singular and plural number now there are different forms of changing these right so we have different ways of forming the plural of noun so we have some singular noun so we will be changing them into plural by understanding some of the important rules so let's start with the rule number 1 so rule number 1 says most nouns form their plurals by adding s to the singular so how can we change them into plural if we want to change any singular noun into plural how can we change it 
just by adding s okay so let's see the example example number 1 shop shops table tables rose roses b bees so just by adding s towards the last we can see that the singular have changed into plural right so isn't it easy i hope you have understood rule number 1 So now let's move to rule number two. So students, let's see the rule number second. My rule number second says, nouns ending in s, double s, x, sh, or ch form their plural by adding es to the singular. So what does it mean? It simply means that if I want to change any singular noun into plural. i have to use es towards the end and when i have to use this when the condition would be that i am having s double s x s h or c h towards the end okay so let's try to under, understand this with the help of example number 1 box now can you see in the very first example i have x towards the end right can you see box x is there in the end so now i can simply add es to change this into plural so box will further change into boxes can you see that here i was having in singular x but in plural i have added es okay so box has changed into boxes number second brush now can you see i have sh in the end so here again i will be using es and how will i get my plurals brushes okay so brush will change into brushes so the moment i will add es here it will become my plural right let's see the third one the third one is watch now in watch my word ends with ch right so here i will add again es so watch will change into watches so have you understood this how we are changing this so next one gas Can you see that towards the last I'm having s, so I will use es. Gas, gases, right? Last one, loss, losses. So this is how I can simply change my singular into plural. All I need is that I have to keep the rules in my mind that what I will use when I have to change. Okay, what is the condition? So I have to keep all these rules in my mind in order to change my singular. into plural right understood okay so students today in this video lesson we will only study two rules so in the upcoming video we will again study rules further okay so that's it for today's class i hope you have understood this right so now you will be having one assignment in your description box which you have to do so make sure to check your description box and you have to keep on practicing about these nouns right so now i'll meet you all in the next video lesson till then keep on completing your assignment keep on practicing keep on learning and yes prepare for your online exam as well so in the third week of july you will be having your online exam okay and it is a objective type exam so you will be having questions mcq type right so make sure that you practice well and you have to score good marks in it So all the best for your exams now I'll meet you all in the next video lesson goodbye take care